Uh, oh, my dear friend Harvester, could you please make your presence known? Uh, this is going to be me streaming from a DOSBox uh, program, so I don't know exactly how this is going to show up on stream. You know what? Oh god. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is loud. Uh, rather... Well, holy shit. Stop, stop, stop. Bad. Nope, bad. Okay. Instead, what we're gonna do, because that's having a hard time doing the game capture, we're just gonna capture the whole window of uh, my desktop. So let's do that. Or my whole display. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Okay. Let's get this one going. Let's see. Begin, damn it. Let's go. There it is. And we're good. Harvester.exe, the best program there ever was. Mm-hmm. That is really loud. Merit Studios. You have no merits, oh god. <sighs> this is an ugly game. This is the eraser head of video games, people. Here we go. Oof. This is a quality game. <laughs> yes. It's a Digifix Interactive Ink game. Digi Effects. In case you didn't know. This looks like an icon that they would make for Freddy fucking fish. Okay, here we go. Harvest Population 51. Ooh, is that supposed to be a cow? Uh, oh, there's the big, big symbol. Uh, somebody needs to oil that gate. Oh, there's uh, there's a classroom that I so often go to. The screams of the children still haunt me. Uh, and there, overlooking it all, is the overlook of uh, the uh, the lodge. Yes. <laughs> Underneath his legs, through the door. This is uh, this is Evil Dead 2, everybody. Uh, this is, ooh, big ugly cartoonish hole in the floor. <laughs> Whoosh! Oh my! That guy, Steve. Future Vision presents the future, a M. Lee Jacobson production, a Gilbert Austin game. None other than the eponymous, the ever devastating Harvester. Lead designer Chad. What a what a guy. 3D modeling all them. And visual effects Tim Higgins. You, you gotta trust a guy named Higgins. John Jones. Was that? No, it was John Johns. Music Zork. These names. What are these names? Brian Parks. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. I like how we're just, these, these stars in the background are just blowing up for each name so we can see them. The names themselves are making this effect happen. And there it is. The symbol of the harvest moon. Or something. Now I will uh, preface this by saying that I have seen this game played once before, but it was like four and a half years ago, so... Ugh. I do not remember almost anything about this game, except that it's fucking crazy. As you can hear from the music, and the fact that we've been watching that effect. Oh god. Eww. Hairy chest, wrinkly back, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Gotta put on the flannel if we're gonna take on the day. Come on. My, my voice trembled there because I don't know if I can take on this day. Alright. Please wait. At least they're saying please. There it is. Uh, Harvester gameplay tips. Escape to bring up the menu. Okay. You can continue, You can combine objects into new objects by clicking. Yep, this is a point and click video game. Thank you very much. Uh, hold on a second. I think the chat box seems to be... Oh no, it's good. It's good. I'll let you know some funny things that you can do that you might miss. Thank God that I have you here then, because I would totally not be aware of them. So let's go. Sound levels. Oh, good. Screen too dark? Uh, check your photo. 
It will only get worse as you take more. Oh yeah, the it's got like the doom face where it's like, Ugh! and his face looks like it's hurt. Uh, look for special items. Yep. After finding required items during the time of day, night will be the time of mischievous adventure. Ooh, mischievous. A, tr a true trick-or-treat game if there ever was one. Double click the left mouse. Uh-huh. Go through instant. I thought that said insanity for a second, but no, it's it's good. Right button to attack an opponent. <laughs> okay. Uh, left click your character uh, inventory. Yep, yep. Man, they are really laying these on thick. Okay. These aren't so much gameplay tips. These are how to play the game. Uh, left click on object. Yeah, 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 yeah. A penny saved is hardly worth the effort. I mean, I guess. Uh, use the left map. Wow, that was odd to throw that in there. Okay. Uh, left mouse. Mm-hmm. If you're stuck on a puzzle, talk to other characters. Oh, good. Yeah, the, uh, a helpful town. Wonderful. Avoid cliches like the plague. You see, now this is, um... They're sneaking in disconcerting and concerning things in the, uh, in the dialogue to kind of set the mood. Ammunition is precious, so don't waste it. If you get stuck on a puzzle, try using items in crazy, illogical way. Yep, mm-hmm. You, you've played video games before, okay. Uh, save your game, especially before trying to do something crazy, illogical, or dangerous. Holding the down control allows you to attack upon it. Okay. Look before you leap. Help screen can be helpful. Uh-huh. Uh, you can pick your friends. You can't pick your friends' nose. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderfully funny. Right click on some objects in inventory to show a close-up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I could have just exited. Okay. All right. Goodness. Look at the plant. That's the first thing I'm going to do in this game. Look at a plant. A recently watered plastic plant. That's what we like to call an oxymoron. Uh, God. Illumination. Illumination is the key to visibility. Apparently, if you get uh, made by Illumination Studios, you'll be visible all the time. I always water my plastic plants as well, as you should. The P-47 Thunderbolt or the P-51 Mustang? Well, I like Thunderbolts a little bit more. A 148th with a broken propeller. And this one, is this broken? A hastily glued in the exact 136 scale. Interesting. So this one is a lot smaller in general because it's 136, whereas this one is a 148th. So the actual plane is much bigger, the Thunderbolt. See, I'm, I'm using my brain already. I know which ones are bigger and smaller. Ah, finally, now I can focus on the stream. Been really busy. Okay, good. Wall clock. Uh-huh. What's this thing? That is a... Cl oh, a clarinet? Really? Obviously, some fat high school girl left it. Are you having fat high school girls in your room a lot there, buddy? Huh? Not that I'm judging. I've I've done worse, but, you know. I'm, I'm just saying, a clarinet does not immediately equal fat high school girl. Okay. Uh, paper doll by the Mills Brothers sits on the turntable. Can we sit on the... Oh, there he is. <laughs> These animations are the best. <laughs> Whack that weed. Drop it like it's hot there, Steve. Sweet. Uh, go to the fucking chair. A cheap folding chair, such as you find at swap meets, bingo parlors, and other religious gatherings. That chair is a heretic. So I've watched this before, but I don't remember anything. You and me both. Is this one plastic? Yes, it is. Binoculars. A pair of binoculars with lens melted to the table. Okay. Acne medicine. An empty... Uh, we'll see how this acne medicine... Kill someone already! Kill them! Question lots. Or quest quest on lots. We're going to look at the picture. A, a picture of a beautiful blonde about 17 years old. You just have that on your desk. As every boy did. Look at the mirror. You appear at your through a thin layer of dust. Despite everything, it's still you. It's unlocked. Then let's open the fucker. Uh, ooh, we gotta wear the uh, the sunglasses from uh, uh oh they live yeah with uh I think it's what's that guy the wrestler the, there was the wrestler the guy who says I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of bubble gum. Phantasmagoria. Uh, as of yet, the future isn't so bright. Take the pen. Chew marks are visible. I do that a lot. Oral fixation, don't you know? 
Um, 25 cents piece, dated 1952. Roddy Piper. That's For some reason, I was getting his name confused with Roddy McDowell. Uh, but Roddy McDowell was in Planet of the Apes and was definitely not Rowdy Roddy Piper. There we go. Uh, I just rem I remember they live as having one of the best back alley brawls in any movie, like, ever. A handful of faded hardbacks litter the shelf. You don't have many books there, do you, Steve? Not not very well read. Interesting. Okay, can I, can I take the old basketball out? Official Dust Bowl basketball. Keith David versus Roddy P yeah, I know! It was a great fight. Like, they didn't just use their words, they used their fists the whole time. Uh, an empty trash can so clean. Yeah, okay, let's... Can we go to the closet? Seven flannel shirts accompanied by matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. What a fucking freak. Let's, let's get out of here. Man, that kid is not sitting... Look at how big that kid is! Horrible Hank. Ew! Look at the... Look at the... Uh, okay, so you got, like, the little... T the magnifying glass to look at stuff. Or, uh, like, the cog to pick up stuff or whatever. So it was a date or not. <laughs> yes. Uh, got the globe. But look at the mouth to talk to him. Here, can we... Can we save? Ew. This is an ugly menu. That's... Not okay. Look, what the fuck is that? I don't remember that. Jesus. I think I saved it. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, Hank. Hedge to Ank. There we go. I'm fine with Hedge Ank. Okay. Uh, talk to this fucker. How can you just sit there eating pizza? There's a big crack in the ceiling. What? Oh, God. Where am I, Hank? In the doghouse, if you keep bugging me, because I'm sick, and I'll tell Mom if you don't let me watch TV. Let's stand in front of him. Uh, how are you sick? What's wrong with you? Oh, there's Steve. I got a headache and a stomach ache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. So let's let's just get the uh, get the worst of this out of the way right now. Uh, actually, fuck it. Hold on. Bye. Good. Why not? We'll talk to him a little later. Uh, can we go back somewhere over here, somewhere where it's not fucking loud as hell? Okay, so let's get this out of the way here. Uh, I don't know if this rumor is true or whatever, but I have heard that um, the main actor dude here for Steve, his name is Steve. There he is. Uh, in real life. Steve here uh, was arrested for, like, possessing child pornography or something like that. Um, something really disturbing, like, something so disturbing that it fits in with Harvester. Uh, so let's just kind of address that, say, what a piece of shit, and let's continue on with the video game. Uh, just because, I believe RAR told me that way back in the day, that Steve here is a literal piece of shit in real life. So, if anything bad happens to him, I don't really care. I believe, anyway. I, I haven't confirmed that. Uh, yeah, Raven Dusk can confirm that Steve here is a fucking child pedo, which is uh, concerning for Hank. Very concerning for Hank. Uh, that was supposed to be a cutscene. It, it was not. Um, an old-fashioned console... So, drying, dying is true good, yes. So this is a game where you're immediately voting against, rooting against our, our main man here, a pendulum-driven cuckoo clock with the cuckoo oddly absent. Uh-huh. That's supposed to be him shooting that guy, but it seems as if the, uh, the game does not want to show that, and I'm okay with that. Good. So, let's beat the shit out of Hank. Hold on, let's, let's go beat, can we beat him up? Let's go kill him. Hey, Hank. Here we come. What's with the cabinet? Fine bone china. Mahogany shelves. Don't think I can kill Hank. Don't worry, I have something in my mind very shortly. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Fuck it. Wait, coloring book. Range rider coloring book. Apparently this kid is really into range riding. To the kitchen, my friends. To go and see my dear mother. Uh, oh yeah, oh god. Oh god, I forgot about the baby. No. The baby, Jesus. Okay. 
the hey look it's the uh, the fork and spoon from every suburban uh, stereotype ever uh, see for example everybody loves Raymond for this exact same thing fire extinguisher uh, fireman Sparky's super foamy fire extinguisher gotta love his foam uh-huh no no okay uh, stick your head in the oven please Steve cookies are baking in the oven the perfect time uh, yeah there's uh, memories let's look at the cookies hot out of the oven hey mother hello there how about some cookies there's plenty of rejects in the trash who are you <laughs> that's a fine way to talk to your mother I like her face You're my mother that's right though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here <laughs> of course you don't until you need your socks washed <laughs> you don't understand I can't remember where I am or even who I am land sake stop your joshing won't you Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Steve. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. <laughs> Do you believe me? <laughs> well, you always were a kidder, Steve. There it is. I'm serious. There's the infamous line. Sure. And next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Let's type in what uh what our dear friend Raven Dusk is saying. Let's type in fuck. Hey mom, fuck you. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation now that your father is out of action? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. What about it? Oh God. This 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 game's got all the incest you could ever want. Meaning, too much. Even at baseline, too much. Oh God. I didn't mean it. You fucking freak. You mind your mouth, young man. That's a fine way to talk to your mother. And a member in good standing of the PTA. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. <laughs> That's no way to talk to your mother. Denying your mother's sexual advances? Goodness. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank or go next door and visit Stephanie or go get an early start on your new job? What a thing to say to you. What about it? Maybe later, dear. Right now, I have housework to do. Though you can watch if you want. Good Go lord. You know how he gets. <laughs> I can feel a... Uh, I can feel a vein in my head throbbing. Freshly baked cookies are in the trash can. I'm gonna punch her to death. Let's look at the baby. Uh, a newborn is not sleeping soundly. We can't punch the baby. Cabinet full of dirty diapers. Ooh, you're keeping... You're keeping the, the dirty diapers in the cabinet. Uh, an expertly embroidered old-fashioned wall plaque that says kill them all. You can very very clearly say, see that it says kill them all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, knives glean wickedly in the kitchen's antiseptic glow. Antiseptic means, uh, like, super clean. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Cookies in the trash, diapers in the cabinet. Okay, uh, let's look at the globe. Stunning depiction of the Earth, made of paper mache. Everything in here is a plastic plant. Oh wait, no, I want to go outside. I want to go outside and uh, do what Raven Dusk is saying by punching the kid. A box full of newspapers. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta take him outside. Look at that hand gripping animation. Uh. Okay. Okay. Take him. We gotta put him outside for this fucker, Jimmy. Save. Uh, save here. Oops. Fucker, Jimmy. Let's go. I hear bombastic music. Where's the cannibalism again? Hold on, we're gonna punch this boy. We're gonna talk to Jimmy James. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Oh, I remember uh, you. I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Me, 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 me. Uh, I've got better things to do, you little shit. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. Ooh, he's asking I for a beating. I just got to work in Joe to make an honest living. 
You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. That's a whole lot so of not my problem. You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Uh, by the way, uh, Raven Dusk, this guy is just uh, Aaron Kuhn uh, from Yakuza, uh, confirmed. Uh, Sega really took inspiration from Harvester for Aaron Kuhn. Uh, no. Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. Something really neato. Think about it. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. No. Oh. Punch him. Kill him. Here. Walk, walk, Steve, kill him. Right in his fucking... Man, he is tough. He can take it in the sack. Okay. How do I kill this little shit? Okay, hold on. What if I walk over here? Turn around. I'm trying to kill him. What is the... I think I have to specifically target somebody. What was the... what was the helpful hints again? Uh, help, please. Oh, God. Uh... Examine, exit... Oh, God. Look at this background! What the fuck? Oh, God. Control. Oh, control plus them. Shift. Gotcha. Alt to duck. Shift to speed up. Okay. So I have to hit control. Okay. Uh, control, kill him. No. I think my positioning is wrong. Okay, let's go this way. Hey, let's go back in the house. Oh yeah, we need to be on like the same like level as him. Turn around. No, he's gone! Damn it, Jimmy. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to fucker. Let's not talk to him, let's just kill him. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> I just got fucking destroyed. <laughs> Fuck you, Jimmy. Fuck you, Jimmy. He just pulls out a fucking gun and blasts me. <laughs> oh, these kids are strapped. This really is American society. Jeez. Come here. Hey. No, kill him. Kill him. Oh, the pushback. I can't kill him. I'll get you, Jimmy. I'll get you. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. I want to. I want to. I want to get him. I want to get him. Hey, Jimmy. How about you reach for the skies? No. Oh my God. He was. He was no, no, no. I don't want to quit Arvester. He was kind of. I was living for a second. Oh, I can kill this little fucker. I'll get him. I'll get him. One more time, one more time, and then we'll move on to something else. Okay, look, I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna go run back inside the house. Jimmy, this is for Tony. No! Damn it. I, I wanna hit him and then run inside the house, and hopefully he'll follow me and kill Hank. Maybe, or maybe something fucked up will happen. Let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Back in the house. <laughs> mm hmm What you up to? Man, he's got unlimited ammo. Look at him. He just goes. You, uh... Man, you're a shit paper boy there, Jimmy. Oh, he got me! Damn, he... Oh, he's he's got those advanced tactics. I didn't think he could turn and shoot. Fuck, he got me. He got me real good. Damn it. <laughs> he could have shit me when I wasn't on his on his level, his plane of existence. Okay, look, Hank, don't ever leave the house, please, okay? Don't don't ever go. Uh, uh, give me the fire extinguisher <laughs> again. We uh we okay? Oh, he's he's fine. Fuck off. Wonder if does his health reset after I leave or can I <laughs> I should really punch my mother. Since we're here. 
I don't think... I think Jimmy has infinite health while we're, uh... Yeah, he's he's just fine. Let's go kill our mom. And then we'll we'll load and hear Jimmy's whole spiel again. A hey, ma Those shoes are hideous. Puncher Steve, you coward! You Hank. Hank. That kid over by the television? Your little brother is Is he blah, 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 blah. Uh, poop. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Okay. Don't forget to put. I can't kill her. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll get a gun at some point. Let's just go back to Jimmy. We still have to talk to Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Steven. Shush. Uh, hey. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. We'll try to remember, will you? I've got the paper on me. Expect a working yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? That's all I want. Yeah, I got sneakers. Oh, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? You know this Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? No, I don't know yeah, anybody. They're messing around with each mm. other in the broom closet. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? I don't know if I want to get in on that. Take my sneakers. Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. Uh, oh. First the keys, then the sneakers. Yeah. Nuh-uh. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, get it. You don't get the key till I see the sneakers. And that's that. See you later, alligator. Yeah, actually, uh, Jimmy here is actually the hitman, hitman, Agent 47 or whatever. But he's dressed as a paperboy. It's just that we see him as the paperboy when really it's a giant ass, pasty, bald, white guy who's like, well, gee whiz, you know. <laughs> this is what this is what regular humans see in the hitman world. Uh, <laughs> it's full of junk mail, bills, and bake sale flyers. Get the get the disc down. Deglo Lima Space Disc. Okay. That one's got bars on the windows. Security bars fastened to the... I, I remember what's in there. Disguise was a big part of that game. Dun 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 dun. The army supply stuff. Uh, wholesome old faction. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, you feel the humming in their dreams. This guy, the disguise. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go see what else we got going on. So we got our house. Oh, I remember this top-down thing. General store, post office, barber shop, missile bit. We gotta go to the missile base. This is the greatest. This is the greatest thing in all of video games. Here we go. Sir, you're in. The He's not in the ground. Here we go. He's... I wish he was in the ground. He's not. This is Colonel Buster Monroe. Are you ready for the greatest video game character? Pe like, character. Person. Here we go. Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Oh, right. The Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. <laughs> that makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? <laughs> Just another draft dodging ploy the way I see it. But at least you're not an, an alien. alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Duh. Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo. The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. <laughs> well, I you have, you know, safeguards against accidents. Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then... You have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower torso shot off in the war. 
Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. <laughs> they owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. That monologue is the greatest piece of writing ever. Ever. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. That's what they thought that having to drag my fucking intestines from Germany to England across the... Oh, intestines. You could... Oh, here we go. The funny thing about it is... You wouldn't think so, but you've got about three miles of intestines in your body, all curled up. Now that came in handy as I gauged my progress. <laughs> While I crawled from Germany to England, my intestines <laughs> would unravel, such that every three miles I'd have to roll them back up and stuff them back in. It became my benchmark, what I lived for. Every time I stuffed my intestines back in, I knew I was three miles closer to freedom. And this way, I kept my sanity. That's what I told those idiots in Washington. But did they listen? No. Some weak sister shrink said I was too emotionally unstable to kill Koreans. <laughs> so they transferred me to this boring stockpile of armed nuclear warheads. And to top it off, those pansy firemen won't let me join the Harvest Volunteer Fire Department. Oh, it makes you wonder. What's the point of going on? I, I... I'm gonna ask him about emotional instability because he seems like the kind of guy who has a lot to say about that. Of course, they wouldn't have given you the, uh, button if you were really, oh, say... Emotionally unstable? Of course not. I was given a full exam by my captors in the concentration camp. <laughs> and I was captured during my second penetration behind enemy lines. The year after I lost my lower torso. It was quite thorough. What did it say? I don't know. I can't read German. Okay, yeah, you can't get shot in two equal but separate portions without feeling a little down. Who wouldn't? That doesn't mean I'm unbalanced. A little lighter, maybe. <laughs> a little. It's fine. Still, is it abnormal to harbor doubts late at night when your boots in the corner mock you? Is it sick to want to poke them in their eyelets and rip out their laughing tongues? Then you feel bad, and you invite them under the covers with you, but when they come, <laughs> oh no. Spit and pop, spit and polish. Trump, Trump, Trump. Oh my a god. Long, long way to temporary. Especially when you're waddling on your hands. What the fuck? Get some gloves, they say. And their high-pitched little voices and snicker in the boot locker. Talking to my jockstrap behind my back. They all deserve a good nuclear holocaust. Okay. <laughs> this is the greatest deterioration. Because he sounds so logical. He sounds so, oh yeah, uh, I had my body blown off. And then he starts just devolving into yelling at his shoes <laughs> he's so violent and yet so composed this is the greatest character ever uh how about your lower torso what what's going on with that you know where do you know where it is you say before you came to harvest your lower torso was shot off in the war that's right i was behind enemy lines the night was dark the rain wet Plastique I was supposed to rig the bridge with, precariously sandwiched between my knees as I crawled in the muddy mud. Muddy mud? I didn't see the Jerry taking aim at me with his machine gun until half of me was flying through the air. With you were crawling. With a of bullets in a straight line, it shot my body clean in two. My lower body landed at that Jerry's feet. I can still hear him laughing as I started crawling in the general direction of England. <laughs> Calling behind me in broken English. My friend, where is your legs? Looky, what have we here? Some legs? Hey, did anyone lose some legs? <laughs> I'll 
I'll never forget looking back over my shoulder and seeing that crowd doing the can can with my legs. <laughs> well, you I can't do anything but laugh. And a pair of nylons, I made it back to safety. Now the crowds are our friends and the commie bastards are our enemies. But even so, there's at least one crowd out there that I'll never invite over to Sunday dinner. <sighs> oh, I... It speaks for itself. This is where commentary fails me. Harvest is a fine town, steeped in traditional American values. But that lodge, well, it makes me suspicious, don't mind saying it. They've got their fingers into everything around here. Like a certain red commie bastard menace, which shall be nameless. Uh... I've decided to join the lodge. I'll stay away. You read me wrong, mister. Oh, God. I think you should join the lodge, infiltrate it, and report back on any red sympathizers. The report could affect my decision on what I've got to do. Bye. Remember, duck and cover. I'm surprised we lived through that encounter. He's incredibly unstable. Life. I, I did not think we were going to live. Hold. Who goes there? Here we go. It's just me, Steve. We're gonna push him over the edge. Did the llamas send you? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Of course they did. I knew it. They won't leave me alone. Them and the kookaburras. Nine. Nine. No, the cutscene's all fucked up. Oh. Oh. And there it goes. It, whose eye is that? I don't know. Mankind's eye. Uh, yeah, he blew Steve's fucking head off, by the way. And uh, they did indeed keep the button underneath him. So he needs to constantly push himself up so that he does not fall on the button, which is right there. Where is it? I, I can see the button, I think. Or something. Let's kick him. It's probably pretty easy to beat this guy up. Oh! Oh, no, if you just walk towards him, he does this. So, uh, don't, don't, don't move towards him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't even go. You can't kill him. He, he, he knew I was coming at him. It was pure self-defense. Interesting. Uh, yeah, now he's just incredibly dangerous. I, I really don't think we should interact with this guy ever again. What do you want? Did the llamas send you? Uh, they That's fear good. me. Someone has to keep them in check. I'm glad you stopped by again. I want you to infiltrate those firemen, mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? And don't come back unless you've got information for me. Uh, commie bastards. Call me bastards. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Me? No. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? I'm an American. I have rights. Rights, huh? Your average commie bastard is always only too ready to hide behind the Constitution. Real Americans waive their rights for the common good. Would you? Uh... I refuse to risk... This is like a full metal jacket thing, where it's like, no matter what you say, you're fucked. So, I'm gonna stick to my guns. Spoken like a true pinko. And then comes the whole... She's so... God... Whoever they got to be him is wonderful. God damn. Yeah, you, you can't win with this guy. After a certain point, it's just... You just avoid him. He's incredibly... Not 
good. But we got the we got most of the uh, the best lines out of him, so that that was worth it. Um, let's look at the nuclear missiles. The base is well stocked with missiles. The aircraft is well maintained. He's big on planes. Is Steve? He seems to really know his stuff, uh, or at least the game wants you to know. So we got the lodge, our house, pots. Oh, to the Potsdam res residence, please, God. Oh yes, oh yes, this, this. The garage needs a new paint job. Too high to look into, yeah, for now. The glass is so clear, the reflection makes it difficult to see. I guess. It's a wagon wheel. Let's go in. There he is. Mr. Potsdam, what the... <laughs> Look at... Uh, this is what caused Lisa. I believe it. I believe it. What, what you watch on TV there, Potsdam? What's, uh, what's that picture you got there? Uh, the man of the house squeezing his meat. My meat. Yeah, this is a man who loves meat. And I mean loves meat. A giant mutant asparagus, inexplicably robust, the, uh, given the fact that it's encased in red concrete, perhaps the uh, healthful electromagnetic fields of harvest. Uh, so it's a plant growing out of concrete. It's Brad. It's Brad's dad. Squeezing his meat, hey? Yes, Barfy. Oh, man. Look at him. He wants to right now. Look at him. He really wants to squeeze his meat, but he's uncomfortable because we're in the room. Uh... What's the ashtray? The ashtray is shaped like a particular human organ, which shall remain nameless. Hey, Potsdam. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Potsdam household? Huh? 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 I came to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. <laughs> Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. Steak, meat. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. <laughs> and anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> Trying to make up for not getting into the lodge. Interesting. Uh... Fuck. Fuck me, Mr. Potsdam. Stop mumbling, Steve. I can't understand you at all. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, we'll come back and talk to him in a second. Basically, his daughter and I are getting married so he can get his hands on my father's meat. The entire kitchen is a minty French. Uh-huh. Uh, this woman looks very identical to my own mother. Mm-hmm. Let's talk with her. Hello, Steve. You are my mom. Boss today? That's my, that's the mom in just a different wig. What the fuck? Does he react to vegetables? Yeah. I'd like to see Seth, uh, yeah. Well, Stephanie is grounded, Steve. Why? I'm sure I don't know. Mr. Poston has sent her to a room, and in her room she'll stay until Mr. What's this Poston fuzz in the background? Probably until the wedding. This is horrible. Mr. Poston feels there's too much at stake to allow Stephanie to run around loose. She doesn't want to get married either, huh? Are you saying you don't want to marry my daughter? I don't know your daughter, Mrs. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No. She's as delighted as we are about the wedding. Every bit as delighted as we are. But she might get hit by a car or a falling piano or who knows what. Mr. Potsdam wants us all to be one happy family. And he doesn't want to risk anything happening at the last minute. Can I see her? I don't see any reason why not. Eh. What if I say fuck to her? Hello, someone cheer. Hi, Nep. Fuck. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, I'm sorry. Only my mother wants to fuck me. Give my regards to your parents. Oh, I, I'll give a little bit more than that. Let's go. Uh. Other mother. This is a great soundtrack. If it wasn't for the fuzz. Hey, bots them. Put down that bowl and give me some sugar. By that I mean I'm gonna kill you. Let's let's go this way. Hit her. Oopsie. 
Uh oh. Oh, Steve, run! Good. Good. Finally, where he belongs. In a fucking cop car. Get him out of here. See ya. And then let the car blow up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Ah, we're even gonna get to see his sentencing. This is great. Ring, ring. Uh huh. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Here we go. What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that. With so many witnesses around. You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. Boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yeah, give him the chair. Fuck him up. Somebody help me. Uh, no. There's no help for you. Hey, Mom. What do you people want from me? For you to die, Steve. Right for that, boy. There he is. Answers may only be found in the lodge. Answers you must be alive to see them. <laughs> He's so poor. There he is. Get him. Get him. Yay. Clap, clap, clap. Wonderful. Yeah, that was the best, best possible ending. I'm tempted to stop it there, but uh, no, unfortunately, you have to continue with my other mother. Uh, hi, Nep. Sorry, you. All you really missed, Nep, was that we we tried getting over it for like 40 minutes and we didn't get over it. And then I tried to do Bayonetta, but the music wasn't working. So now we're playing this weird uh, point-and-click adventure game about the worst person in the world. Uh, good old Steve. Who's a kidder? That's a big refrigerator icebox thingy. Um, the entire kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go po talk to Mr. Potsdam really quick before we go and uh, have a chit chat with his daughter. Can we kill Mr. Potsdam? Just uh, out of curiosity. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what the fuck in hell? Uh, let's leave. Holy shit! His whole, like, body imploded into meat. One pun! <laughs> Steve. Steve, no, no, no. Just, just let him die. Okay. Punch him! What were you thinking? Attacking. He's coming out swinging. I don't want to see this again. Come on. No, no, no. We, we've seen enough. Okay, yeah. Can we, can we just skip to game over next time? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if Steve is just really, really strong, or if uh, Mr. Potsdam is just a weird, delicate meat man. Uh, it's probably a combination of both. Uh, can we look at the TV? That he's Oh look, there's like a little ring on the TV counter thingy here. That's nice. What you got in the bookshelves? Empty shelves are a testament to the Potsdam uh, household's rigorous intellectual standards. Hey, you can't talk shit, Steve. You only had like three books. Jimmy is God. Because he survived the punches. Okay. Are these plants plastic too? As plastic plants go, this one seems cool. Whoa. This plaque has had its metal plate removed. This device is slowly releasing noxious smelling chemicals into the hallway. Another plant? This plastic plant needs a good watering, I'll tell you what. So what do you plan to do if you can't do Bayonetta? Well, I have Bayonetta for the Wii U. Um... So I can just hook that console up and I can stream it that way. Uh, your makeup looks just fine. Good. Good. I'm glad. Uh, it's, you know, one of those things. Huh? Okay. This plastic plant has had enough water to last a good long while. Interesting. Uh, this one. Oh, good. The bathroom. What the fuck? She's purdy. I think Steve just lost like 40 intellectual points here. Feels like coarse sandpaper. It'd be painful to wipe with this stuff. What's with the dripping? A thin layer of hair coats virtually every inch of the ceramic and the rubber duck has seen better days. Ew. She's purdy. Can I, can I look closer? It looks like some 
40-year-old woman showing off her cleavage or something. The one to the left. Oh. Uh, the picture on the wall is hanging a bit crooked. Oh, secret. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. That's Stephanie, I presume. Wearing her negligee, as we all do. Okay. That's... Interesting. Uh-huh. So we were just peeping on her wall. There's a hole there. Wait a minute, why is there a hole there? Wait a minute. Either Steve has been visiting here before, or... Oh, God. The meat! Oh. Someone's been using this plastic plant as a toilet. Oh, no. Mr. Possum has been taking this whole plastic plant joke too far. Has he? Uh, wads of tissue fill the trash cans. Some of them stuck to the sides. I will let the awkward dripping say everything that I need to about that. The medicine cabinet reeks of various toiletries. Uh-huh. The plastic plant is apparently dead. Okay. Just out of curiosity, if I was to look back, is she putting on the same clothes again? Yes. Yes. Uh, she is definitely... Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's... I don't really want to comment on Stephanie uh, and her appearance because this just... Check the sink. Like, it just feels creepy at this point. Uh, in... It's covered with what appears to be toothpaste, toothpaste, pubic hair, and snot. Mmm, delicious. I always put my pubes in the sink. Let's, let's wash it away. Let's Can we just punch ourselves in the face and die, please? Uh, medicine cabinet. We've got Aura Lube. A jar of extra strength Aura Lube. Great for getting in and out... Hmm. Okay. You know, I have to say, if you're going to do sex humor, and if you're going to do incest jokes and all of that, uh, I kind of, in a weird way, appreciate this, because it's not out and out telling you what it is. It's not just saying the word fuck or shit or whatever. It's actually like being subtle about it, and kind of funny. So I appreciate it on that level, but at the same time, that hole is getting a bit worse. Uh-huh. Take the lube. Now we got aspirin, got a headache. This aspirin should do the trick. Cough medicine, one hour. Warning, yeast disinfectant, not to be used for baking cookies. I'm sure that's something gross. Uh, vitamins, new zippy vitamins will pick you up. Uh, who the fuck just puts their tampons up there? Better ask Stephanie about these. Oh, yeah. Take her tampons. Be sure to roll up the tube from the bottom. Uh, floss. I have that kind of floss, I think. Dental floss, 300 yards of it, and band-aids. Scattering of band-aids. Interesting. Um, and towel rack. Towels are stiff as boards. I don't need to know. Um, Stephanie, Stephanie, look, hey, Mr. Gunslinger, how do you feel about puzzle games like Portal? Uh, I really like those games. Uh, stuff like Portal, that's not overly complicated. Um, I, there's a few, like, clock and gear games, uh, on Steam, uh, that are a little confusing, uh, but I feel stuff like Portal or like, uh, the, that one game of Dr. Something, the game that, oh, what is it? It's like... Quantum Conundrum, that's it. Stuff like that seems entertaining enough. Uh, look at Steve. Look at Steve. It's like you're pretending to be Sonic the Hedgehog getting impatient with me. Uh, today's Monday. Stole lube and tampons on Monday. And a newspaper. Uh, hey, Stephanie. You want to you wanna read the newspaper? You are... Okay. Interesting. This is uh, suggestive. She has nice taste. Okay. Uh, she's nice and pretty. Uh, furniture, nice taste. Big bay window things. 
Just everything is nice. Nice taste, nice taste. He really likes going on about her taste. Interesting. Try using something with something and spam it. Okay. Tampons with lube. Oh, God. Holy shit. Use the lube on... Oh, no, let's not use the lube on Stephanie, please. Good lord. Uh, not yet. Castle and Vania, the one with the alu cards. Uh, help me. Aura lube. Help me out of this sticky situation. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Uh, you heard? We're getting married. that's why I've got the tampons, the newspaper, and the lube. Steve, isn't it? That's me. You don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. Or a, or a lube. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Hmm. What do you mean about those people? What do you mean, those people, Stephanie? Uh, that seems a little rough. Oh, oh, by the way, uh... You're not making sense. I know. I'm just trying things out. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but... It doesn't feel right. One way or the other. Uh... No one will believe that I've got amnesia. I know what you mean. Uh... Yeah. I believe you. <gasps> Maybe some of these people believe you too. Maybe they're playing dumb. I like her accent. It's believable. Responsible. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, those birds are really loud. I think we're both grounded. What do you mean? Uh, how the hell did we escape? It's been hell. They treat me well, but they won't let me leave this room. Not even to go out in the yard. Not until the wedding. Is she? Tell you why? Each Hold on. one blames the other for grounding me. They make up different excuses, different things I did, none of which I remember. So I sit up here, watch the world outside my window, and listen to the noises in the house. Uh, do you hear any specific noises coming from the bathroom for like a minute at a t at a time? Uh. Because that might be something we need to talk about. Every morning, a weird boy comes to the house and picks up the paper. He doesn't deliver the paper. He picks up scrap paper that Miss Potsdam sets out on the porch for him. Some morning, she forgets, and the boy gets furious. He gives me the creeps. Uh, you should see what he's got in that newspaper bag. <laughs> I hear these weird... Scraping sounds in the bathroom sometimes. Uh huh. Like something is sliding along the wall. Ew. Claws, maybe. Ew. And Mr. Potsdam. I don't like the way my dear daddy looks at me. Both of them are always watching me. But especially him. You don't think they're dangerous, do you? I think this whole place is dangerous. I think we've got to escape. Before it's too late. Is, uh, is she wearing socks with sandals on in her room? Like, is, is that what's going on right now? Uh, peephole. Stephanie, I think you should know. There's a peephole hidden behind the picture in the bathroom. You mean a peephole? You're spying on me? No, he's putting his I'm peep so. in the hole. So, that's the scraping I hear every night. The picture sliding along the wall. Oh, disgusting. I've got to get out of here, Steve. The thought of that fat slob watching me. I'll question Potsdam about it. Maybe if he knows I know, it'll scare him off. Uh... Thank you, Steve. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> Stephanie will remember that. Interesting. Uh, so, do you want to get married? Wedding is only three weeks away. Only? Not much time to get to know each other, is it? I mean... 
kinda. Interesting. Don't worry about wedding, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Suddenly, the idea of a wedding doesn't seem so. Thanks. But I wouldn't marry anyone with things, you know, as they are. Yeah, well, they can't force us to go through with it. If it comes down to it, we just won't take the vows. I don't think anything in Harvest is that simple. Too many people are determined that we get hitched. Hitched? Potsdam wants the meat your father promised him. Your parents want to force you to settle down. Mrs. Potsdam wants to have the wedding in the lodge. Me? I just want to escape. Where the hell would you go? Uh, tell me about this escape. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Uh, you're probably right. Of course I'm right. Uh, bye. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Okay, uh... Save over that. There we go. Oh, ooh, I know what to do next. Oh, God. I like how you're getting excited. Go to the wasp la Oh, my. Are you making some kind of point? I mean... Am I? Here. Here's a, here's a subtle point for you. Are you making some kind of point? Do you say that if I give you the newspaper? Like, do you just say that for everything? Or is it specifically the lube and the... Are you making some... No, okay, she just says that for everything. Okay. Uh, bye, Stephanie. We're gonna go talk to your daddy about not doing things. The closet door won't budge. Uh, so wait a minute, there's closet, her room, bathroom. There does not appear to be a room for the parents to live in. Uh, hey, Potsdam, I got something for you. Yes, yes, very nice. But do you have any meat? <laughs> that meat does not look cooked. Uh, and his fingers look like sausages themselves. Um, what about this? You want some lube? Yes, yes. Very nope, he is very invested in that, in that, in that my meat. Son -in -law. What brings you here? He's got a nice face. I bet you this actor is actually pretty nice. You know what I mean? Like he seems like a nice guy Stop in real. Right there, what the fuck? Nobody breaks the law in my wife. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Perfectly aligned with <laughs> Mr. Potsdam's face. I was looking right at his face like, oh, he seems really nice. And then, stop right there, criminal scum. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Dark Whalecorn. Thank you. Then pay with your meat. <laughs> sure. That's cute. Oh. Oh, Dark Whalecorn, you came in and did that at just the right moment. Uh, let's ask him about his peephole. Beg pardon? You've got a peephole in the upstairs bathroom. It looks in on Stephanie's room. Yeah. Well, I'll be darned. You've been spying on your daughter. <laughs> Obviously, Mrs. Potsdam. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Potsdam is a lesbian. Looks like the previous owner was a pervert. Um. Well, I'm not saying the third one. Which one is it? Should we accuse Potsdam of jacking off to his daughter or Mrs. Potsdam doing that thing? I mean, I I'm tempted to just fucking flip a coin. Fuck it, I'm flipping this coin. Uh, Tails, po Mr. Potsdam, uh, heads, Mrs. Potsdam. That is heads. Uh, obviously, Mrs. Potsdam is a lesbian. Mrs. Potsdam's never been to Lebanon in her life. What? Someone's peeping in on Stephanie. If it's not Mrs. Potsdam, then who is it? Seems that Mrs. Potsdam has a little problem. Oh, God. I'll handle it myself. Thanks for calling this to my attention, Steve. Then you won't mind if I tell Stephanie about it. Now, there's no need to scare Stephanie with this business. Ugh. I guess not. So long as you patch that hole. Well, I guess I could hang that picture somewhere else. I thought you had no idea where it was. Ooh. Okay. Hey, Potsdam. Hello, dear. Can no. Why then, whatever are you here for? I'm busy making cookies for the bake sale. Uh, do the cookies have meat in them? Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. People. Here we go. 
sorry, I didn't catch that. All right, whatever. Give my regards. Let's, uh, I think that's the sound of the cookies burning. Uh, okay, he's not gonna do jack shit, except for maybe jack off. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, how the fuck do we get out of here again? Um... Bushes are preventing it from opening. You made bushes in the... Okay. Uh, get me the frickety fuck out of here. Um... Ha oh, there we go. Perfect. Lovely. Are you planning on playing some other horror games for October? Oh yeah, big time. Why the hell not? Uh, let's go to the abandoned house. Shady Oaks, Mortuary, Cemetery, Johnson's Residence. I My memory's more fading, faded about this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, nope, yeah. That's kind of what I'm planning on doing now that we've finished Subnautica uh, and Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo. We'll play some other spooky horror games. Uh, window. The attic window is the perfect nesting ground for wasps. Oh, this is where the wasp lady must live. Okay. The old car is perfect. So... Let's go... Yeah. I'm trying to remember... Here we go. Oh, right. There she is. Icebox. The icebox is sealed... Is sealed shut with wasp's nest. Look at that wasp right there. And that, and that, and that. Oh, man. Cabinet. From the sound of the cabinets are infested with wasps. She's, uh, she's the pain from, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, a rather colorful picture of a wasp. She's the mother, rather. Uh, is that my mom in a wig? In a wig? A wasp? That's a wasp nest? Jesus. Uh, what you got there? Meat? Looks like meat. Uh, t Tetsua Crumb. Tetsua the wasp woman. Uh... Tetsu, uh. Okay, I like how I'm not saving these in any order whatsoever. Just to really... I should play the Talos Principle? That'd be fun. There's a pl I need to talk about that plastic plant. No witnesses. It's not often that I get visited. Oh no, she's old. I'm Tetsuo Crumb. The ignorant of hearts called me the Wasp Woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Hmm. Born of fear. And the poverty of imagination. I don't understand. She's talking like the Twilight Zone intro. Of honey, what? The Judeo Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure were all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. <laughs> what? Uh, sorry guys. Judeo Christian traditions and the <laughs> the taboos against infinite pleasure have been holding back the wasps. Okay. You are the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests and more wasps, nothing more. They spread into eaves and attics, not to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle. On their own paper, perpetuating their own agenda, growing stealthily. Oh God! Oh God! What the hell is this? The most relentless of insects. <gasps> oh my God! It had the the harvester symbol in it and its eyes. Interesting, lady. Talk to me about pleasure, please. I after that. Yes, a great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being, not a laborer. Hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick. This music's all fucked up. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh. Shh. And the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. This woman is an English major. Painful welt. An act of love. I am absolutely not kidding, guys. This is exactly the kind of dialogue that happens in English classes when they talk about some plays and stuff. Like, this is incredibly accurate. Um, this is actually giving me big flashbacks to my 
days. Okay. Uh, what about sacrifice? When a beast eats, it rips itself apart and dies for its audacity. This appeals to those raised worshipping a god that demands sacrifice and atonement. But the wasp is promiscuous. They are not as sympathetic to the masses. Because they don't die when they sting. They live to sting another day. And they take pleasure from it. This must have been really fun to record the uh, audio for. Uh, oh, she, oh, I thought she was standing up for a second. Fuck. A triviality. Indeed. Bye. Okay. Uh. Wasps. Let's punch her. She's probably filled with wasps. Uh, let's have a look-see. Oh god. I'm scared. Oh god. What the fuck? Hi, Uriel. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Uh, I don't think I skipped anything. She was there, then she was gone. I skipped it? Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Click. Here we go. Oh! Oh my- oh my god! Oh! Oh! Her thorax convulsing. Jesus. Nice time to join. <laughs> what, what was she eating? Picture. Rather colorful picture. Where can. Am I gonna get arrested? No. Oh, God. We'll, we'll kill her later. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, let's run. Get me the fuck out of here. Uh, okay. So she sensually stings. No one cares. Wasp woman died. Um, take me to the mortuary, please. I wanna, I wanna mourn some people. Uh, are these plants real? Professionally kept landscape. They seem to be real. So is this the, uh, hold on. This hideous symbol stands out like a swastika or a flattened spider. Okay. The swastika, I, I could kind of understand. But the, uh, the flattened spider? These votive candles have been lit by many well-wishers for the dead, or one well-wisher with a lot of matches. Empty coat tree. Those dear to us who have passed away recently, Jonathan A. Rhinecliffe. Uh, schedule for the week's funerary events. Nice sofas. Nifty. Let's go... Let's go this way. Yeah, I don't. Oh! <laughs> what wonderful cartoon gooey sticky sounds. There's even... There's even shit on, like, the walls. Stains. Heart. Disembodied organ which was never meant to pump formaldehyde. I have to say, the vocabulary in this game is pretty, pretty good. There are uh, organic things floating in formaldehyde in these jars, the sort of things that make you want to look away before you really start... But your eyes won't oblige. The fans wearing blades barely stir the stench-laden air. <laughs> these are like Banjo-Kazooie sound effects. Temperature gauge. The uh, needle lies on 33 degrees... 33 degrees Fahrenheit?! That's really hot. That's like sweltering. Very nasty look. That's a pair of bloody handprints are smeared. Gun saying it's obvious that the people are educated and development is at an all time high. <laughs> this is really hot. Like germs are gonna be going nuts because you don't want to be, this is why they keep it in cold. Oh God, okay. Mr. M Moynihan. Moynihan. Corpse. Messy remains of some poor soul. Moynihan! 
Oh wait, 33 degrees in Fahrenheit is almost zero in Celsius. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was getting my Celsius and uh, I was getting my Celsius and Fahrenheit mis mixed up. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought it was 33 Celsius, and I was like, um, that's like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry. Easily, I, I'm assuming they were getting it fucked up, but uh, no, they were not. Stephen, hello. Who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan, mortician and proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> Besides, as one who there's the line. The dead, I try not to involve myself in the affairs of the living. Your loss of memory is of no concern to me, true or false. Ironic, considering my recent involvement in a charity event. What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. I'm gratified the Order of the Harvest Moon got involved. The proceeds will certainly help cover my losses. Losses. No, wait, fuck me first. You're spouting gibberish. Okay. It seems that like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest to die. They simply drop dead, penniless, and they all need burials. God knows by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? My losses to the dead are substantial. Hopefully the bake sale will offset some of them. Interesting. So in part, the... Uh... The bake sale is being used to bury the dead, which apparently just come right on in to harvest. As owner of the only hotel in town, I do my best to accommodate any hobo who straggles into town, vacancy is permitting. Ah, uh, that is very nice. Uh, what about, yeah, are people just dying in your hotel? What's up with that? I really don't recall. We get so many low-life dregs passing through here, I can't remember every little death that occurs. Huh. Are there that many? As I said, sliced open on a mortician's slab, every corpse looks the same. Red Look at his shit-eating grin. And juicy. But surely you'd remember if these deaths were an unusual occurrence. You sound like you're launching some sort of investigation, Stephen. That would be most unwise. Uh, finally, tell me about these losses. It seems that... Like some oh, wait, blah, 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 yeah. God, no. Um, bake sale. This bake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA and the Order of the Harvest Moon. The proceeds will be used to set up a fund for transients. In other words, bums and societal rejects without families who wander into harvest uninvited. Then the Order is setting up shelters for the homeless? Not shelters. Graves. You see a great number of these hobos die while passing through. Don't ask me why, it's what those people do. Use your common sense, Stephen, memory or no. If they were involved in setting up homeless shelters, then why would I be involved? And why would I be sustaining losses? I don't know, this sounds like the plot to uh, a murder by death. Or, uh, not murder by death, or murder she wrote. Um, sounds like a murder she wrote sort of plot. As always, the Order of the Harvest Moon has taken the lead in addressing our societal ills. Through their sponsorship of the blood drive and the bake sale, the Lodge ensures that all our needs are met. Needs? Such as... Graves. Pardon me, there are corpses to prepare. <laughs> and my losses have been substantial of late. If you're sincerely interested in the Order, however, you should stop by the Lodge and speak with the Sergeant at Arms. Why should I be interested, Mr. Moynihan? Moynihan. Of all the spots in Harvest, the Lodge is the most prominent. Literally and figuratively. It is the ambition of everyone here to join. And join you must to attain wisdom. What kind of wisdom? The wisdom that lets you wear a top hat like that. Remember. I have the feeling you have what it takes to join the Order, Stephen. We all believe that. Whether or not you live up to your potential is up to you. Interesting. Uh, what about... Meat. Just out of curiosity. You're spouting gibberish. I know I am, buddy. It's oh shit, no. God. No. Okay, bye. I'd say it's been a pleasure. 
but I find the company of the living so wearisome. Oh wait, I didn't ask you about the dead. Oh, man, we really Shush. What about the dead? Yes, I prepare them. I use this astro glue to close my autopsy incision <laughs> rather than sutures. What? It's much faster, more efficient. Of course, it only holds for a short while, but once they're in the ground, who cares if they split open? They will anyway. The pressure of the gases and the worms pressing outward, rupturing the cavity open. So why bother with fancy needlework? A cold-blooded approach. But what of my losses? Do you realize if it weren't for the efforts of the Order of the Harvest Moon, the bake sale and so forth, even with the Wayward Hotel, I'd be hard-pressed to stay in business. How awful it would be if you did not stay in business. I'd say it's been... How awful it would be if this whole thing was shut down. Absolutely heartbreaking. Um, ooh. An exquisite chandelier. Rows and rows of empty pews. Caked with dust of indifference. That's nice. Oh, hello. I can hear whips going on. Uh, a saint kneels before a shepherd, jubilantly terrified. Jubilant. Brass. Also terrified. Um, A hauntingly beautiful stained glass window in which a man holds a scythe in one hand and some ethereal power in the other interesting who's in the casket nobody yet the imprint of a head buttocks and sliding heels are scraped into the thick dust of the pew fascinating this is a this is a good soundtrack at least for this area okay that was weird enough of you moynihan large translucent window Okay, where the hell to go to next? 